Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church for the service of Compline here on Monday, November 25th, one month till Christmas. But we have Advent to get through first, and that starts on Sunday. Anyway, we're thankful to have you with us. I'm thankful to have Jane here to help lead. Good evening, Jane. Good evening. We're in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127, and we'll be using Psalm 31 from the service. If you don't have a copy, that's okay. Just take some time, take a breath, settle your mind and your heart, and we'll enter into this service. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life in the, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Be sober. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Take a moment. Take a posture that is easy to maintain and allows you to breathe easy and let your shoulders fall. This week, you might be looking at all the stress of a holiday week that is in front of you. Don't let that be the devil prowling, prowling around like a roaring lion. Resist the anxiety. There's a lot of details that may be in front of you. There may be things that you're anxious about with interactions with others that, that worry you. But hold firm to your faith that God loves us. That God loves us so much that God died for us. Hold firm in our faith that we are called to love one another. Hold firm to the faith that we are called to love. So set all the anxiety aside. 
Remember that you are loved and that you are called to love. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. In this moment of intercessory prayer, we invite yours either out loud or in the silence of where you are, of your heart. We begin by praying for all those who are on our parish prayer list. And for A, and for K, for D, D, For all those who are struggling with something, either sickness or in mind or body or whatever the special concern is, that God will wrap them in love, hold on to them, give them strength and courage, and that God will use us to walk alongside as needed. We pray for all those who are traveling this week, that they may find joy in the journey, joy in the destination, and joy in the return. For those that are hungry or unhoused, and those who are lonely and seeing celebrations around or, and are feeling excluded and their heart is heavy, For the unemployed and the underemployed, those who are struggling with their mental health, for those living with addiction, for those living in precarious situations, either physically, spiritually, emotionally, or financially, pray for all those who are feeling the loss of someone this at this time of year. An empty spot at a table. We pray for the angry and the anxious. We pray for the world, for an ending of violence everywhere. for an end of the disregard for human life. 
We pray for, pray for God's peace to prevail. We pray for all those who are affected by war and violence, for refugees and children, the elderly, the disabled, those who are vulnerable, for displaced persons. And we pray for aid agencies seeking to bring food, water, shelter, and medical care. We pray for an end of gun violence in our streets, an end of the opioid epidemic, an end of discrimination and racism. We pray for Abington, Jenkintown, Cheltenham, Wincote, and Glenside. Our ministry, or the people that live in these communities, their leaders and their first responders. We pray for the church the church around the world, that we may be focused on the greatest commandment to love one another as Jesus loved us and that all that we do and all that we say, we show this love, the love of God through actions, words, presence. We pray for all hallows, our ministry in our communities, our ministry with each other, we pray for our vestry tonight as they meet. We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for Helen and Anne, the saints of all hallows, and those in our lives that we are remembering during the holidays. And we do give thanks. We give thanks for today, for laughter and friendship, for joy that we experienced. We give thanks for birthdays and anniversaries. We give thanks for the innumerable benefits that came to us, some that we saw, some that we didn't but we know they are from God. Give thanks for Jane and her many ministries and give thanks for the vestry and the people of All Hallows. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this night for Compline. It's a privilege for us to pray with you. Um, we will be back again on Tuesday and Wednesday with Compline. Uh, there will be no service on Thursday. It's Thanksgiving. We hope that you will be with people and enjoy it. If you're if you're in need of something, please let me know. Um, but we hope you find joy this week. Sunday, our service is at 10 o'clock. It is the first Sunday of Advent, and we are um, starting with the lighting of the of the advent wreath and then afterward we will be making our own advent wreaths and we will also be saying goodbye to our deacon deacon Kristen. Um, and so please come be a part of that and thank you jane for helping lead this evening it was my pleasure
We hope that your night is restful and regenerative. Be at peace. Pray for peace.